Forex trade the news. What are the odds? Here's one of the videos used in the Forex ebook series, Forex trade the news. What are the odds? Published in the Kindle Books department on Amazon. This ebook is the sixth in the series and documents three setups and trades conducted over the last two years along with charts and links to the YouTube videos. There are three videos illustrating the setup, progress, and results of the monthly release of the European German Factory Orders Month-over-Month -month Report. Today's video represents the news report released on Thursday, February 4, 2010 at 6 a.m. Eastern Time U.S. This video is a presentation by the blog Fundamental Forex Blogging dot com here's my prelim setup for a trade starting with my market orders a sell order and behind it a buy order here are the units I am trading Here is my stop loss. The stop loss is important in cases of a spike reversal. Early on, my broker spread shown here is small, but may increase just before the news release, which will be shown later in this video. Next is my plan in case there is a surprise to the market. The plan tells me which action to take if the actual report is different from the forecast. Down here is my time. Here are my trigger points. I need to get the news report as soon as possible, so I use the Forex Factory's calendar. They have an actual pending button, which will give me the news report within a minute or two. By refreshing the calendar page, normally about four minutes before the report release, the green buttons will appear. With less than a minute to the news release, broker spread will vary from a negative 84 cents to a negative 95 cents and back throughout the trade sequence. It is now time to get the news release. I use the Forex Factory calendar with the news release buttons, those green buttons in the calendar. At times it takes a few clicks of the actual report buttons to get the report. This time it took only 13 seconds and one click to get the actual report release. In this case the actual report came out lower than the forecast by 2.1 and lower than the trigger point by 1.2. This report was bad for the euro so I decided I will execute a sell of the euro and buy the US dollar. There I have entered my first trade. And I have now entered my second trade.
The market is moving just as I hoped it would. There is some retrace which is expected. I did not exit my first trade until after the end of this video in the 28th minute for a good win. One of my fears is that the market will not continue to move in the direction the odds say it will. This time the market moved in my favor, for a while anyway. I did not exit my second trade until after the end of this video in the 37th minute. So here's a chart showing the trade exit and how the market continued to move. This is the chart for the currency pair Euro versus the US dollar. My first sell trade of the Euro was entered right at about 24 seconds into the news release. Then the second sell trade was entered about a minute and 38 seconds into the news release. The first exit trade happened in the 28th minute and the second exit trade happened in the 37th minute. The first trade was a good win. The second trade may have been a wash. The actual report was outside the economist's forecast and was bad for the European economy but apparently good for my plan which called for selling the euro and buying the US dollar. I started posting this news release on my blog in August 2009. This video is presented by the Fundamental Forex blog and has been presented in an ebook series titled Forex Trade the News What are the Odds? published in the Amazon Kindle store under the title Trade European German Factory Orders News Report Month Over Month. Click the link below this video to check out additional Forex ebooks I have published on Amazon. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.